Or go on traders, you are the traders here again, man. So I don't want to start sounding like a cliche in terms of saying, yeah, as predicted, uh, and you know, as I always say, I, I told you so. But um, look at what Mullen is doing. Um, what I want to do is actually address a comment from one of the viewers. Um, the person said, "Typical pump and dump stock." So let's address that. So, guys, do you think Mullen is a pump and dump, dump stock? So, in the comments, put your, your, your thoughts on if you think Mullen is a pump and dump stock. So, my, let me give you my thoughts on a pump and dump stock. A pump and dump stock is one that there's hype, the stock, stock run up, um, you know, there's sell off at the top and stop comes back down so guess what my mindset about trading you know it has changed over the past couple of years but my mindset about trading is about making money so if you are in you're investing um, currently and you're investing to get married to a stock and stay with it forever whether it goes up or come come down that's your problem. If Mullen pumps all the way up, I don't mind because I'm in it to make money. If it goes up, I'm going to ride the wave up and I'm going to set my stop loss at the top and I'm going to make money. So let's take a look at this. I traded a couple stocks sometime back. So when COVID came out, there was a stock called INO. I don't know if you guys recall INO. So these guys, um, when the vaccine happened, these guys were was in the process of maybe making a possible vaccine for COVID. Uh, sorry, when COVID happened, these guys were in the process of making a vaccine for COVID or they were doing some research and they were associated with Bill Gates. So let's look and see what happened with that stock. So, I did my research because I look for opportunities when there is, you know, um, high interest in the market. I searched and I found INO. This is before Pfizer or Moderna. And I found INO. It was pushing up past the, um, the resistance. And I said, huh, volume coming in. Let's see if I can make some money. I jumped in. At around five dollars, look where it went. Went up all the way to around twenty-six dollars. I think I tried to get get out at fifteen dollars. Um, did a little bit of you know buying and selling to see if it will pop back up, but it never did. So, the what I'm trying to say, guys, we're not here to get married to a stock. Okay, we're here to make money. Quantum Scape, they're they're into semiconductors. Oh, sorry, not OS, but QS. They're into some semiconductors. I didn't actually buy this stock. My brother did. So he was asking me the question. It stock ran up to $100. And he was asking me the question, um, should I sell, should I sell? I said, hey, guess what? You're making money. You get in. You're making money. You get out. Look at that. And the stock is now down to $5. Nicola. I remember back then, I um, there was all hype about this hydrogen truck, and uh, you know, it's you know as almost as good as EV or better, more efficient. But guess what? There was hype on the stock. I went in, I I um, sold at around forty, got out, and look where it is now. Look at that. So these are typical pump and dump. And the worst thing with this um, Nikola stock was that the company, I don't know about now, but then they were showing videos of a ch truck driving along the road with no problems. Only for us to find out after that there was actually no engine in the truck, no hydrogen in the engine in the, in the truck. They were basically rolling the truck down the hill and someone was steering it. <laughs> it's quite funny. So guys, 
if you are in the business of making money and you have the mindset that you want to make money i don't mind if money is a is a um pump and done stock stock i want to make money on the way up and if it drops i am going to be kicked out with my stop loss so come on guys we need to have our mindset clear in terms of what we are in we are investing for are we in it to make money or are we in it to get married to the stock forever so anyway so let's get back into the morning here all right so um as I mentioned before, let me um, Mullen. They did their thing as as uh, as I mentioned. You know, we are at now at the resistance, and some volume came in. We are still at the resistance, so um, it may consolidate for a little while. Or if there's a pop through, then that will be great. So let's take a look at Yahoo Finance. See what's going on. So, as I mentioned, Mullen keeps giving, 12% um, up, a little pullback, which is fine. Um, market cap yesterday was 474. Now it has gone up to 533, <clears throat> which is all 60 million more in terms of persons buying. Average volume, the volume is around close to the average, so that's fine. At least, um, you know, we got the interest coming in. I don't think there is the earnings report as yet so now it's saying January 4th we don't care we just want to make sure that <clears throat> the interest is coming in the volume is, is, is coming in um, let's take a look at the options okay look at this the volume on the option side has now increased to 62,000 very interesting so yep the interest is peaking puts pretty much low um, in terms of open interest uh, this has increased um, 9,000 January 6 um, 7,000 January 13th and 71,000 January 20th so the interest is coming in guys that's all we want to see so sorry about that so back to the charts so the question is if Mullen is to pop, I'm going to ask you guys this question, and I want you to put it in, in the comments. If Mullen is going to pop to, say, um, 60 cents, or even a dollar for in the next couple of days, you know, what will, will you do? Let me zoom back in here. <clears throat> what will you do if Mullen is to pop up to this level? Um, in the next couple of days, what will you do? Will you hold? Will you sell? Put it in the comments and let me know what, what you do in terms of, let me see what your strategy will be. My strategy would be to, if it pops, I'm going to sell some. Okay? Because chances are, if it depends on where it, it pops and where it stops. So if it pops up to this level, chance are I may sell some for it to come back down and I buy again if it pops up to that level I may do the same so it all depends on where it pops to okay so if Mullen is to pop up to a very high number what would you do what would be your strategy put it in the comments guys all right so as usual if you like this type of comment um, you know comments give me the thumbs up if you want early no notification don't forget um, to subscribe and that's it for today guys